outdated now, but I have a little drawing of you on the screen to uh, represent you being on the stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome. It's us. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm here with Cass, and uh, yeah. we, we just spent the last couple days making a game together for the GMTK Game Jam. And uh, we're gonna play it today. <laughs> It's been a while since I was on stream with you. Yeah, um, you're gonna be here soon for Cuphead too, though, right? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta finish some other stuff first, but that'll be soon. Probably once I finish Sonic, um, we'll do Cuphead oh. next. <laughs> I've been jazzed to watch you play that. I love Cuphead so much. Yes, I don't expect to do very well, but <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Hello, Ruby. <laughs> Hi! Let's... Go over here. Apparently itch.io is having some issues because of the, the jam. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you might not be able to play this yourself right now, but you should be able to later in the day. Or tomorrow. It is free. <laughs> oh my God. It's... Oh, what was it's... That? It's free. Yes, so... it's free. Yeah. This costs no money. Also, yeah. this is keyboard controls only, and so... So that I don't move the computer and shake the camera around, I have my Bluetooth keyboard I'm playing with right now. So... Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, what happened? Press the wrong button, hold on. Whoa, what was that?! <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Taking a dump? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So... How do we want to explain how this game works? Um, well the Game Jam theme was Roll of the Dice. Yes. So, we did something with dice, as you can see. Yes, also I've made some mistakes. So you roll the dice and, uh, you can- so you can knock around the enemies, the weirdos. Yeah. Um, it's- it's and the die it's will spawn like different things to attack the enemies with as well. Yeah, kind of like a, huh. uh, it's kind of like an arcade platformer tower defense. Yeah, this is a score attack like game. Game, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was actually the oh. first thing we made was the animation for the die. Yeah, because we didn't know exactly <laughs> what we wanted to do yet, but we knew that we wanted to, to have a die. die that you could go around and it would roll. Uh, and so I just, like, program some physics, and then I'm gonna animate uh, yep. the die <laughs> If you touch a butterfly, it brings you another, another die. Yeah. <laughs> I love the little hands with the <laughs> laser guns. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> They're really funny. And just the eyeball that chases you around is, like, just freaky. Yes, that's one of my favorite attacks. It's so cool. My two favorites are the little, the dual laser hand guy. And the and the eyeballs. Oops. I love the uh, I love the sound that Sophie made for the eyeballs. Yes, by the our, way, our our si sound designer was very good. Love yeah. That work. Ah, she did uh, foley for us. There's six different attacks, by the way, for the six yes. faces. I yeah, we originally had it just be the the dots. Ah. Oh yeah, she's in the chat. We had we had uh, we had just a normal die, but it was like kind of difficult to decipher what each like to remember what each one was gonna do. So yeah. we made it. We we gave them each a symbol that matches what it does. Okay, let me pop out yeah. the chat. I need to reorganize the one my. We made the die before we knew what we wanted the die to do. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> so I just had the pips, and then we changed yes. it to the symbol. So yeah, don't let Once the weirdos eat your fruit. Do. I really like that message too. It's really funny. You can pick up the die again before it goes off if you don't like don't what it's about to do. It. What was that? How did we come up with calling them weirdos? I, I don't you remember. Just, did, just offhandedly. <laughs> you just said they look like little weirdos and they're trying to get your fruit. And I loved that, so we went with it. <laughs> That's extremely weirdo behavior. <laughs> So yeah, Marshmallow and Fruitland uh, has a sequel now. This is this is canonical yeah. what happens after that game. Marshmallow finds this weird die, and also all the weirdos come <laughs> and try and steal his fruit. 
Also, so all the attacks that the die does equally harm the enemies as they do you as well. Yeah, that's one of my favorite aspects of this game. Yeah, so it's a roll of the die, literally and figuratively. <laughs> I, was I think. Very... Oh yeah, go on. One of the early concepts uh, was that there would be like. It would be like a platforming level you were trying to get through, and you could stand on the die, but like every time you rolled it, like whatever face it landed on would activate like different hazards <laughs> that were in the level, yeah. but like... We, we moved yeah. on from that pretty quickly. Yeah, it was... I wasn't a big fan of that idea, but it was like all I could come up with when we saw the theme. Actually, the first thing I thought of when we got the theme was like... Uh, the idea of, like, somebody running around on top of a big D20, like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind I of... It's a little bit of a tower defense type of game, because you gotta... You gotta... Strategically place your die. Yeah. And, um... Like... You kind of, like, it's random what effect you get, but you can kind of, like, manipulate it by just picking up the die if it's something you don't want. Yeah. Uh, so, and also because a lot of the effects kind of, like, work in, like, a horizontal range, kind yes. of. So, like, you can kind of predict the sort of range that you're gonna end up with, but, yeah, like... There, it's a very, yeah. um... There, there's, like, a lot of emergent strategy and stuff in this game. I, I like it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of, like, whenever you get a tight spot, um, with the eyeball and, like, the big clock laser. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun when, like, uh, you're in a situation where you have, like, a tight area that you're trying to stand in, and then the eyeball is, like, on your case. We should be seeing the third type of enemy soon here, by the way. Oh yeah, the, uh, the cannon- I didn't make it- I didn't get a line of score last time. For it to show up, oh, really? but this time it should. Whoa, your high score is 5,000? I think that I was- I think I cheated to before. get that earlier. Um, oh, okay. pay no attention to that. <laughs> 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 um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the setting- Oh, there's the other type of enemy. So these guys you can't hurt, but they just kind of get in your way and shove you around. Yeah, they're little jerks. Oops, they ate my fruit and I got a game over. <laughs> I didn't get to show it to you very much yet. I'll play a couple more times. Uh, I was gonna say, the setting, we I, we sat and thought about that for a while. Because I, I was like, uh, I don't want it to just be Fruitland. Like, I don't want it to just be the basic Fruitland area. And you were like, what if it was a chicken coop? <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so I just combined the two really ideas. Awesome. We were, like, really rushing to come up with, like... Uh, you know, where this was gonna take place. Yeah. Because <laughs> we only had to start doing the art for that sooner or later, you know, like... Yeah. Like... So, I just was like, <laughs> what if it's just weird, abstract, chicken coop land? <laughs> I think if we had done this again, I would have tried to come up with something, like... Weirder? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we are, we are planning to, um work on this some more after the jam is over. Make yeah, into, like, I think we've full little that. thing. I, I know at least I personally want to like spend some more time on this. So <laughs> Do you have any ideas for like what you'd wanna change in a second pass? Uh not off the top of my head. Probably I would do more balancing changes, um just like add more <laughs> stuff, I guess. Totally, I agree with that. Um <laughs> Like, I think it's, like, kind of too powerful to have multiple of the little eyeball guys. And so I think I would, like, make it so the die cannot roll another eye if there's already an eye active. Oh, really? Yeah. Personally, I like it because it doesn't happen a lot, and when it does happen, Maybe. like, it, it increases the danger that's on your head. Maybe. Well, see, there's, like, stuff to think about, so... <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um... Other than the chicken coop land... Uh, I, w I was... <laughs> There's so many, like, pretty much all of the assets in this game. Well, not all of them. Uh, all the character sprites are new, but pretty much... Every piece of scenery and everything is all, like, taken from somewhere else of in my game projects and modified from there. 
Like, these fruits come from Quest for the Eye of Newt, which is a game I've not finished. Um... Let's see, the, uh, the wood texture on the little, like, chicken wire things comes from the floor of Haley's bedroom in Grey Area. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that! Yeah. <laughs> Um, the, uh, ground sprites are sort of like an am amalgamation of, uh, like, various types of ground sprites that I've done, like ones that are in finished stuff and, like, some, like, unused things that I made before. Uh, the cannonball enemies are from a concept I had for Marshmallow and Fruitland, um, in, like, 2014 or 2015, like, before I ever even made the no game. No way! <laughs> And it was gonna be in Marshmallow Fruitland before I decided not to have enemies in that game. And so now I finally brought that to fruition. That's a canon Marshmallow character now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just just about everything comes from something else I've already made. <laughs> um, these carrot, these I love how these little carrot guys turned out. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> the little carrot strolling carrots. <laughs> Um, so that, one of the funniest things in this game. So much of this was just stuff I came up with on Spur of the Whim. Because, like, the carrots, I just happened to be, like... Like, I was hanging out with people and I made some kind of joke about making somebody stare at a carrot with a butt. <laughs> and then I was like, oh my god, what if I what if it was what if I had like a walking carrot and it was like one of those carrots that looks like legs because it's two carrots. Well, the carrot turned around. Did you see that? Yeah, that happens sometimes, and the enemies will just walk away. Oh, okay. Not sure. But well, if you're really, a, it doesn't really I'm affect okay. anything, but <laughs> yeah. But I don't know why it happens. I'm I think... I'm very proud of us for making this in two days. Yes, this me a, too. This is a lot of game for two days. I'm yeah, I'm surprised at how much we were able to accomplish. Like yeah, it, I, has, it even I has pausing. How much I could program in a day, yeah, you know? I don't know? How much I could program in a day either. <laughs> you did a lot of art too. Like goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I was like. I was reusing as much as I could. I tried, I tried to, like, <laughs> I tried to be as efficient as I could possibly be with the art creation. I'm impressed by it. Thank you. Yeah, Sasha likes to call those carrots the fucked up carrots. <laughs> That's her official name for them. And the little purple guys, those are the weirdos. Behavior for the carrots, right? Yeah, I think we intended the carrots to be something other than just another normal enemy, but we didn't get around to that. Yeah. So if you lose a fruit, it takes away a third of your health, so you have to be you have to be very careful about your fruit. <laughs> yeah, I think that's something I would change actually is make it more clear like when you lose a fruit. Yeah. Even just make it so that I them know. eating your fruit like continuously lowers your health bar. Because Wynn found that confusing when she yeah, played. I wanted to make it more obvious, um, but didn't have time. Okay. Yeah, that was um, one of the last they, things the we fruits, did. Because the fruits do it. shake. Um, yeah. I had to have like a special sound effect or some kind of notification or something when your fruit gets eaten. Um, but I did not have time, so... Uh, if we go- if we give a second pass to this game, I will add that. <laughs> I love the big lasers so much. Yes. Um, I felt like it was a little bit too difficult when they continuously ate the fruit, is why I changed that. Um, like the game- uh -huh. like the- like a, a lot of what I did last night was rebalancing it, because I thought it was like- it was really hard. <laughs> um... Like it was like I didn't get very far most of the time, so I was just improving that. Um, this morning I had to rebalance a lot too because apparently I was like half asleep when I was programming stuff last night, and some of it turned <laughs> out kind of poopy. Yeah, uh, I had the enemy like the code that spawns the enemies faster over time. Yeah, I think I had that working, and then Elena looked at my code and it looked back. So they well, like, and I couldn't tell from playing. Like it, like I don't know. It was. <laughs> I tried to redo it, but I redid it bad. Oh, that was my best score on stream so far. Great. 
And then I woke up and I started like, and I started like, like working on times. it, and I was like, wait, this doesn't work. I'm having fun, we can play this a couple more times. So yeah, if you like this, um, when Itch is working, definitely give it a good rating. So that we yeah, can absolutely. The game jam. <laughs> I, I think that if you, I think I read that if you're not in the jam, um, you can't like choose which games you want to play and rate. Like oh, it just serves like a random game. But yeah. apparently, if you are in the jam, then you can choose. It's weird. Interesting. <laughs> well, I hope we do well regardless. Oh yeah, um, Sophie said that she would want to see uh, a way to get your health back, and I, I was thinking the same because mm -hmm. uh, I never, I never like when like you can just like permanent lose health and I then see. you just like um, like back forever. Mm -hmm. You maybe have some way to like gain a fruit back. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. We could do that. I was thinking about that, like, for all of development, but I, like, kept putting it on. I see. Because it wasn't, like, entirely. You never entire brought range. it up, so I didn't really think about it, so... <laughs> I wish I had brought it up, because maybe you would have come up with something quick and easy to do. Yeah. I probably would have just had another, like, butterfly come bring you a fruit back. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I was thinking, you, like if, very- If you hit like a certain score, and you're missing a fruit. Yeah. Butterfly can come bring you a fruit bat. Oh my god, very, there's so uh, the eyes. There's, two, there's so many of them, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna- you're... I'm dying from the eyes. Hello, and <laughs> One sec. Oh shit, that's another thing I never did. I meant to like cap their speed for most of development so they wouldn't <laughs> just like rush at you from off screen like that, but I never did. <laughs> I kind of like, like it though that. because it's the way uh, it makes it dangerous to go yes. far away from them. You I kind do... of have to stay. I do like how the movement of them turned out. Yeah, me too. I like, um, I was also, I was saying while we were developing this, I like, I like that eyeball because it makes the dice seem, like, evil. <laughs> like, it's, like, like, it's some arcane evil thing that Marshmallow shouldn't be messing around with, but he doesn't realize it's evil because he's just Marshmallow. He's he, just he a baby. Yeah, he doesn't know what anything is. He just knows he wants his fruit. Really thick, because we gave him those outlines programmatically. Mm-hmm. Bang. <laughs> I love how the explosion turned out looking. I'm proud of that one. It's just a perfect yeah, animation. Me. I love it. I have quite a few programmed animations in this. Um like the like the fire trail and everything. Which is uh um, you know, pretty impressive really on for only two days. <laughs> from the eyeball at first, but like Seeing it, like, <laughs> in action, it's actually great. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, also, ha I had been thinking about making the level bigger for a while, but um, playing with it more, I ended up really liking this size for the level, so it is a size. I still can't believe we did that. <laughs> yeah, it's so... I'm, like... It's incredible. <laughs> I love the the clock laser. Me too. Yeah, the Sophie's just... sound for that is great. Yeah, I'm I'm just I love the game. I'm just really happy with this game in general. Me too. I, I remember on like the second day, like around like 
4 or something. I was just like sat there thinking this game is gonna be like terrible. It's gonna be so overwhelming oh, no. and confusing. There's gonna be like shit going on all the time. And I did not think it was gonna be fun. Oh. Like I was telling in like a lot. I was just like this game is not gonna be fun. This is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> But then, like, then it just started coming together, and I was like, yeah. oh, shit, this is a good time, I like this. <laughs> totally. Um, let's see. Is there anything else we want to say about it? Or is there any questions anybody has about it? That might be good. Anybody, anybody got any questions about... Marshmallow on a roll. Oh yeah! Yeah, I'll show uh, the credits, so we... uh, yeah. before I end the stream. Um... I was gonna say, I also didn't intend to make such, like, elaborate art... Um... For the game, but it, it just, it came together really fast. <laughs> it really did, I'm faster still- faster than I give myself credit for. <laughs> I liked your choice to make the laser, like, periodic as well. Yeah, I'm glad I did that. Cause, like, at first it was just, like, continuous and it, it lasted kind of, for a It was kind of, a, it was, like, impossible to get past it. Yeah, and then, uh, then Elena, was it you that made it, like, really short? Uh, I don't think so. I don't- I don't think I ever touched the programming for any of the attacks I left Weird. at you. Cause I remember, like, maybe you didn't. Maybe I did that? I don't know. <laughs> it's all kind of a blur, but like, at one point... How does Marshmallow uh, feel about the little freaks? Well, he wants them to stop stealing his fruit, obviously. <laughs> Cause like... Uh, cause like, at first it was really long, and then I remember like, at one point it was really short. I don't remember who did that, but it was really short at one point. And like, at that point it was like, it, hey, I knew that it wasn't going to pick anything. Uh, so I just made it like, repeat <laughs> like that, so that you could actually get past it. Marshmallow, uh, Marshmallow has become characterized as very selfish with the story in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, this he was He collected all the fruit in the world, and he wants it for himself. <laughs> he won't let anybody take it. <laughs> that was, that was big. Like, he is. saying that Marshmallow has had a corruption arc. Here's our, here's our credits. I love the music, by the way. Sophie did a great yeah, job. Yeah, I'm a big fan. She said she'd never done, um... Chiptune, chip right? before, yeah, I'm so impressed. It's very good. You'd never know. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. Um... Let's see. What's I gonna say? Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of the art, how that turned out, and all the little character designs I did. Um... What else? That's what else. Oh yeah, I had another character I designed for this that I didn't end up making, and instead I did the carrot. <laughs> um, but Wait, if we continue yeah. this, I will add that other character. Who was that? Oh, it you know, was the, the little, like little uh, round guy. With the ball on their head. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, after, I wasn't sh I redesigned it a bit, because after I designed that, I realized it was just the opposite of Marshmallow. Because Marshmallow's a large oh, circle with a small circle, small... and the face oh is God, on the small you're... circle. But now <laughs> I was putting the face on the large circle. <laughs> and I was like, maybe that's a little too similar to Marshmallow. Maybe we'll do something else. That's, that would be kind of funny though, like what if that was the anti-Marshmallow or something? Because <laughs> yeah, instead I made the little freaks. Also, there's the controls, by the way. I love uh, the weird so much. We've only been- we haven't been streaming this for very long. I'll do- I'll do- I'll play it one more time. And if anybody if has any thoughts on it, or is there anything else you want to I point out? I still laughing when you first showed me the design <laughs> for the freaks. Yeah. I, I'll, I always uh, know I've made something good if you start laughing when you see it. <laughs> that was, uh... That's how, that's how we designed the backgrounds in PL. Yeah. Was just like, whatever you thought was the most funny. 
<laughs> also, I was saying, every time that I make a game with Kaz, I end up making something chicken-related. So far. Yeah, the chicken coops in the background. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was gonna say, these little, these first platforms up here are really good to put the saw blades or the, uh, the thumbtacks on. Yeah. To sort of guarantee coverage. Ah! Up here comes the butterfly. So butterflies were just background, uh, elements in the Marshmallow and Fruitland. I thought it'd be fun to make them into... Um, more of an active role. <laughs> I love yeah. the way they spin <laughs> round before they go get you the die. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I envisioned it, uh, working when I, uh, thought up the butterflies bringing you the dice. And I'm glad I managed to make it work. Chickens are foolproof for good game designs, says Chroma. So what does this say That's about the lore? Entirely. Well, like I mentioned, it tells us that Marshmallow is very selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Are the Marshmallow the dice That's keepers? Is, it, is this gonna be... Am I gonna end up making something like Kirby, where, the, where it turns out the butterfly was, like, evil all along? <laughs> <laughs> the butterfly is... The butterfly is supplying uh, Marshmallow with weapons of mass destruction, <laughs> I would have think about it. <laughs> that's a that's a little evil, a little fucked up if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, the 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 butterflies might be on the evil side of things. <laughs> In the description for this game, I did I wrote that um, the dice might not be on your side. So yeah, I really <laughs> like that. It's, it's chaotic. Uh, it's like this chaotic evil die. I think. Yes. <laughs> Definitely evil. I do not get good vibes off of this die- oh, off of these dice whatsoever. <laughs> oh, do you like the little death animation that I added for the enemies? Yeah, I, I love it. off the screen. I love that since they're no longer a gameplay element, they don't have an outline. Yes, that's- that's a convention that I've had, um, on this. Like, the butterflies, when you collect them, they- uh, their outline goes away. Before yeah, you pick I think up the actually, dice it doesn't have an outline. That's always been a rule that I follow too. Is like mm -hmm. I have um well I guess not in I guess not in um Ooh, that was good. some of the hand drawn games like PO and the one that I'm making right now, but whenever I do stuff with pixels like well, I'm getting gameplay a good score this time. Style. Hell yeah. Look at this. What'd you say? I'm getting a good score this time. Oh shit, yeah! Also, I forgot to check my audio. I should do that real quick. My audio has been having issues for like the last several months. I get paranoid. Let me check it real quick. I know, it's like the for, end like, of the, the last stream. several months. Okay, it's good. <laughs> it's fine. Um, let's continue. <laughs> um, evil butterfly is your gender. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I am Zombie Butterfly. Also, Adeline was saying, um, huh. if we do another jam at some point, uh, they'd love to do, like, uh, 3D assets. Yeah. That would be cool. Would like, be. imagine if we just had, like, a couple 3D assets here and there. Like, Kirby Superstar. Yeah. <laughs> Kirby Superstar has some pre-rendered stuff. Did you know that apparently they didn't have pre-rendered graphics in Kirby Superstar for the entirety of its development? It was because Donkey Kong Country came out and Sakurai saw it and was like, we gotta do that. Oh, damn. And so then they added pre-rendered stuff to it. <laughs> I think that's kind of in, that's kind of legendary. Nope, I died. <laughs> Well, that was my best score, so that's a good place to end it off on. <laughs> yeah! Woo. By the way, the way you made the butterfly's outline disappear <laughs> once it's no longer, like, an interactable gameplay element, that, like, that right there, I think, was, like, one of the things that made me go, like, oh, yeah, I want to make sure that 
for sure, like, everything in this game that's gameplay-related has an outline. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun. Mm -hmm. this, was, this was great. I had so much fun making this. I hope everybody likes it a lot. <laughs> I had a lot of fun, too. Yeah, this is the new official Electric Prune Juice game. A <laughs> new sequel to Marshmallow yeah. and Fruitland. <laughs> I was only planning there to be like two Marshmallow Fruitland games, and now there's gonna be three because I'm making Marshmallow Goes to Space <laughs> soon. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, this is, it was fun having you to show it, Cass. Um, yeah, it's I'll, nice to be back in the stream after like not being on forever. Yeah, I'll have you back again soon uh, for Cuphead. Cuphead yeah, DLC. So, so that's gonna be fun. Um, I said before this, or at the beginning, or before the stream, I said I don't think I'm gonna be very good at it, but <laughs> it should be a fun stream. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna turn off the stream for now. I'll be back in a few minutes. I got a little bit of setup to do, and I'm gonna bring Sasha over, and we're gonna play Toe Jam and Earl. So, <laughs> hope y'all look forward to that. Uh, thanks for joining me, Cass. Um, I will see you again soon. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Bye. Right, be right back, everybody.